What's the thing that we can't live without and we always want more of? Brass bread, dosh dough, cash. Dr Singh, can you tell me, is money the same as cash? Cash is only one form of money. Money has had various forms. Money can be in gold, it can be check, it can be bond, it can be shares. Anything which has a value is as money. Can you give me a brief history of money? Money originated when human beings needed to exchange things between themselves. And they needed something to express the value of things which they were exchanging. And uh, the form which money has taken over history are enormous. And there are uh, historical accounts of even feather, stones, even women being used as a kind of form of money. Anything which had a value or considered having value was used as a source of exchange and that was called money. Which country invented money? Some accounts would say that China probably had the first forms of money, but there are, there are, there are doubts about that because even in Greek civilization there would be similar examples of money. Being a pensioner of money, saving or keeping money or anything like that, as a pensioner, it is becoming more and more difficult for obvious reasons. Things are going up, uh, price of fuel, uh, etc., etc. Um, in general, though, I would sort of err on the side of caution, knowing that it's important that I can also buy things in the future. So, in general, I would tend to be reasonably sort of careful about money. I'm fairly easy going about money. If I've got it, I enjoy having it. If I haven't got it, I know how to economise because I was brought up in the 1950s. And so I just get on with it, yes. My relationship with money is a good one because I spend it because that's what it's there for. So do you think that money is the root of all evil? I would not say money is the root of all evil because money has different purposes. Money is a store of value because you have to express the value of different goods because there are millions of goods. If you look into this room, just in this room, you can count something like thousands of items. And how do you exchange between themselves? So there has to be something common. And the, the need for money came just because of this, that you needed some common measure of value. If money is considered as a measure of value, it's not an evil. But when acquisition of money becomes a source of power and wealth and domination, then it does become an evil. So money by itself is not evil. It's the use to which money is put. It can become evil. And we all enjoy spending money. Is there any harm in spending money? Well, I would put the uh, uh, people spending habits and, and spending money in the larger context of the biggest crisis humanity is facing, which is global warming. And that's because we are spending too much. And then we are creating waste and waste leads to pollution. And global warming is directly linked up with the amount of waste which we produce and the pollution which results from that waste. I think some people do have too much money, but I think too much is what you do with it. Like if you're really lavish and, you know, sort of the Abramoviches with their six yachts or whatever they've got, I think that's a bit extreme. I think there's a sort of middle ground where you can be comfortable and sort of have dispense of disposable income, but not sort of over the top. Well, I don't think anybody could ever have too much money. Money is the root of all evil. I think I actually earn uh, an amount of money that um, I can live very comfortably on. Uh, the money goes into my bank account and I don't spend it by watching the money going out. I actually can spend what I want to spend. And I think that means you're comfortable.